Wilson here. We're on our way down to Atascosa County. Uh, about to roll through the big city of DeWeese, Texas. And uh, we're coming down for a little barn dominium fix-up project, Kevin's place. And while I'm down here, I thought I'd stop over at Milam's Boneyard and see if there's anything in there that we might be able to use on this 59 Napco to help. Uh, we need a, a sheave, about a four inch sheave for the um, end of this wrecker assembly and looking for some uh, helper spring brackets for the chassis I've not been able to locate. So be over at his bone yard. Might do a little deer hunting while we're at it. <laughs> and uh, so Shackleton and I are just down here in uh, lovely South Texas. Well, today we we're over at Milam's place in his bone yard looking for a few extra parts. And uh, I think we found what we're looking for here. So, so here we are in this helper spring bracket. So it's like right here. And uh, Milam's got them cut off. Shubel. Yep. So coming down off the top of the frame rail, it's about five inches and coming up off the, the little helper spring, it's about two and a quarter inches. So we'll, uh, we'll get those positioned on there and should be good as gold. Is it still deer season? Yeah. We're tired. So this is the uh, sheave off of a old wrecker boom on the same truck that these brackets came off of. And we're gonna scavenge this off the front of this, into this, so uh, put it on the wrecker boom on this 59 Napco. So Milan drug this thing out of the field in the big old crescent wrench, see if we can get this nut off and let's drop this shiv out of here. on enough that we can drive it out of there with it. Used a little small residential pipe wrench. Drag this big old two-inch nut off of here, and uh, perfect for that wrecker bar. While we we're over in the bone yard, Shacklin got up early and capped two little small dough, kind of have a policy of sausage with every meal. So we'll age these for about three weeks in the cooler here, and then uh, they'll be off to the sausage mill. You strap them up here in the gimbal, and then walk them right into the cooler. Right in here. Down here in South Texas in Atascosa County and 
this is what these hogs do for you saltwater liberals that don't know what hog damage is. These hogs have come through here and just rooted all this up. Makes it just damn near impossible to even walk on. And this ground is as hard as a rock. They just get those snoots in there and snouts in there and root it up. And they rooted up this whole Sendero. And to close out the Atascosa County bone picking, this is the general. He's a true longhorn. And those big badass horns are a little over 90 inches, which is a big, big set of horns. And uh, we got Luke coming up behind him. See what's going on. They generally like a little cube. So, uh, they're just a tame, nice pets. Hey, General. Hey, General. How you doing today? Okay, just about got these cleaned up. Got the uh, shiv all cleaned up. Got these poles out, uh, rivets out. I still got to sandblast it, but I got these uh, out and ready to go. In order to do that, do a little bit of a bear, I had to grind these things down and then uh, come in here and drill a hole in it like that and then use a punch to knock them out. So uh, just about got that taken care of. Download the Resto Rat app today to begin managing, tracking, and documenting your restoration project.